Here's a chi-square problem involving a basketball team. Uh, they've analyzed their shot taking from the starters, and here we have the percents that each of the starters shoots. And then in a recent game, here's how many shots they actually took. So we want to see, were they consistent with what they usually do? And we're going to use the chi-square test for that. So let's slide this down. Okay, we've got five players, abbreviate Presley, Johnson, Horton, Watkins, and Chapman. In the first column, we're going to put the observed. And that's these numbers, how many shots we actually observed them taking. 12, 14, 8, 15, and 21. Now, the next column is the expected column. Okay. Now, if we find out how many total shots they took in a game, this would have been 70. So they took 70 total shots. Now, to figure out the expected, we come back up here and look at the percentages, and we find all of these percentages of 70. So, for example, Presley normally takes 23% of the shots. So in a game when they took 70 shots, we expect Presley to take 16.1 or 16 shots. And if we do the same the rest of the way down, out of 70, 20% for Johnson would be 14 shots. So Johnson hit his uh, expected percentage. Horton does 18%. So if we round up, this would be 13 shots. Watkins, 32%. So that would be 22 shots. And Chapman, 7%, which would be 5 shots. Okay. So by looking at these numbers, it appears like they didn't quite do their usual. Johnson was right on. Presley and Horton were pretty close, but Watkins and Chapman were way off. But let's continue the problem and let's just make sure. The next column, we're going to subtract these two. So we have negative 4, 0, negative 5, negative 7, 16. Then we're going to square these numbers. 16, 0, 25, 49, 256. We're going to make one more column. We're going to take these numbers and divide by the expected. Okay. So 16 divided by 16 would be 1. 0 divided by 14 would be 0. 25 divided by 13 is going to give us about 1.92. 49 divided by 22 is about 2.23. And then finally, 256 divided by 5 is going to give us 51.2. At this point, we add this column together, and this gives us our chi-square value. 1, 0, 1.92, 2 2.23, 51.2. Okay, this gives us a chi-square value of 56.35. And if you go to the chi-square table for 95%, with four degrees of freedom, because we've got five columns. The answer is about 9.4. Doesn't matter exactly what it is, but it's well under this one. So since our chi-square number is well over the number in the table, we say that our sample is off. Okay, The expected percent, the expected number of shots taken, was not close enough to what the observed was. So that backwards. The observed shots that we saw was not close to what we had expected. So this was not a normal shooting night for this team.